And how do you deal with that? How do you deal with rejection? That's, that's a, oh yeah, that's a good question. The, I, I've, I've only recently like started to really think about this because for, I realized that like I need to figure out a way to deal with it because I had like a really low period at the beginning of this year where everything just nothing went my way. Like so many things that I thought were like opportunities that I thought were gonna happen, everything just like crashed down, and and I like was like really miserable for like a few weeks but then I always think I always think like you either like you I I chose to do this and I know I know I knew all the the you know hard parts of it so you either kind of but did you though did you really like, I, that's true I guess you can never you know it but you never like I mean you know, like and especially it. because you know when you started like you were very young uh, and at that point, you don't really realize what You're it means. You're completely delusional. I was completely delusional. I mean, please. I thought my first audition, I, there was like, I remember it was an open, my first ever audition I went to was an open casting call and there was like 300 kids there. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I went to like six of those and I never even got a call back. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're right, you're right. Mm. Like. I guess you don't really know it until you experience it. But what I'm trying to say is like, you either let it go and keep going, or you stop when you do something else. Because there's no point in being stuck in the in-between of being like, feeling, you know, miserable and feeling, oh, like, this is so hard and like, I hate it. Why am I doing it? Because then you, then you either, you quit and do something else or you just, you're like, yeah, it, that's why it is, and keep going. Mm -hmm. I try to think like that. Obviously, it's easier said than done, but... Well, what, what motivates you to keep going? Just... I just... Every, I just can't imagine not doing it, do you know what I mean? I don't know. I do, yeah. I Yeah, exactly. Like, it's... It's like... It doesn't really exist in my brain. Like, I have thought... Of course, it's popped up, like... When you're going through some... Like, a really period of like just nothing happening and just everything going to shit and you just like feel really like it's if you feel really low in your confidence and you haven't really received any good feedback in a really long time and then the thought pops in your head like why am i even doing this like should i quit but that just doesn't like it never goes further than that you know what i mean like every time i think i'm like no obviously not how 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 do you deal how do you deal with the rejection like did you did you find a way to deal with the rejection Mm, no, no <laughs> have <like> you? <laughs> I, to a degree, I mean like to a degree, yes, I just got used to it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you just, no, you know, I haven't really found a way to deal with it. You just deal with it when it comes. There's no like, from. I don't have like, a, a, you just have to move on to the next thing. It just, how, like how I deal with rejection, I'm trying not to put my hopes too high. You yeah. Know, because so sometimes when it, like when you do the self tape, I do the self tape and then like, that's it. I sent it, I forgot about it. I'm not thinking about it. Like sometimes it just pops in my head like, oh, well, oh. and then they're like, no, 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 no. And then I'm just like, okay, I just forget about it. And mm -hmm. then the hardest way, like hard, hardest case, is when you get the call back mm -hmm. and then maybe you have another self tape like and another self tape because once i went through three stages of self tape yeah. for one project and that's where like at that point i was like yes another another yeah hope. you know what i think i think what i this isn't always like i can't i have to be in a very i think high place where my confidence is really high but the way for me it's just like being delusional like as in not delusional but thinking like hopeful in the sense that if they didn't if you didn't get it i didn't get it oh okay they just either they um <laughs> wait how am i gonna say this I'm trying to, like, either they like oh they just didn't know that that obviously i was the right choice they just made a mistake <laughs> or <laughs> Well, if you didn't if you didn't want me, then I wouldn't want to work with them either because obviously you want to work with people that are really excited to work with you. Mm -hmm. That's just really like, it doesn't always work because it only works if you think really highly of yourself, but you can fake it till you make it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean like sometimes from what I learned as well, uh, what I've learned, it's just, 
it's not always about how good you are. No, it's, it's, it's like you just, no, it's you know, not. Do your like your face is too fat, so no. But the acting is good. And <laughs> even <laughs> like we just don't like how you look. <laughs> yeah, but even even that sometimes it like has literally nothing to do with you. Sometimes it's just oh, but um, this person was already in this and this, and this person already knows the director, or like oh, we you know like sometimes it has completely different reasons. Sometimes it has to do with money, like or you know the amount of Instagram followers you have so I think you just like when I do a self tape or an audition I try to just go in and again it doesn't I can't always do it but I try to just go in and do what I want to do with it because what you what's really easy to sink into is to like oh okay this is the script I'm gonna read the character description this is what they're looking for and I'm gonna try to be like that and um you know I think that's there's n it doesn't really help to try and think like that because then you're gonna just be the same as everyone else but someone else is gonna be that specific thing more than you whereas if you just do it the way you want to do it mm -hmm. and you're like fuck it i'm gonna do it like this and then if you don't get it you can be like that's fine they mm -hmm. just didn't like the way i did it they which just is don't okay. like me the way i am that's it <laughs> no no <laughs> We just had maybe different creative opinions on yeah. what this world is going to be, yeah, and that's yeah, fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't no, know. I do, I do, I do. I understand. I understand. It just—it's still kind of like, uh, as I said a lot on, on this podcast, there's a there is a project that I auditioned for nine times. Nine, nine times for nine different roles. I did the self tape. Are you kidding me? And they even like I, th I know I was shortlisted for like once one of those times. And like and the network chose another guy, but like nine times, and you feel like just. Can you already give? You know what I can bring to the table. You've seen nine tapes. But do you know, me. was it different directors every time? It's a series, so maybe yeah. I don't know. Well, because um, the casting director obviously really likes you, mm -hmm. so that's good. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh I think God! It's just, well, but, well, it might <laughs> we'll be see. that it was like a different director, and they always wanted to see you do that. Oh, that's so frustrating, and you start to feel like, oh um, no, that's awful. no. Don't get me wrong, like because I told to my agent like b before, uh, I, I said like, okay, I did seven tapes for them. Next time they ask for one, can you just send any of those yeah. that I did? And then when they ask for two more, I'm like, of course I'll do it. Of course you'll do it. <laughs> You're not gonna it. say no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just it just it can be so frustrating. It like can it's, be really frustrating. and it it's a good sign because if casting directors keeps coming Absolutely. to you, like it's just like it's a good sign. Or they're just out of choice. <laughs> Uh, no, Andre, no. <laughs> but you kind of like, yeah, well, now it's like, well, now this one is going to be the one. But I did not, I think the 10th is the one. That's horrible. <laughs> so oh my maybe gosh. next year. Is that series still going? Uh, as, as far as I know, yes. As far as I know, I think uh, there was a little, like, not a Come schedule. Come on, they almost owe you a part in this. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe they, they saw me, like, on some tapes for, like, smaller roles. They're like, oh, no, this guy, we want him for something juicier. But uh, I, don't, I don't. Maybe. You never know. Listen, you never know. It might be, like, just a blessing in disguise that you didn't get those. Because that means that you can still get a cooler one. <sighs> well... Yeah. Let's not put my hopes to. <laughs> okay, true. We got to, but you see, listen, I did. Okay, I last year, last winter, no, summer. Yeah. I can't talk. Um, I got like a role that was like my dream role. Like I, I was like, I'm, I'm ready to quit after this. Like it was, it was like so amazing. It was something like I, I just didn't think would happen to me for another like 10, 20 years, and I was so excited about it, you know, and I. I, I always do the same thing where I'm like, oh, you can't let yourself get too excited, like blah, blah, blah. And then what do you think happened? It got canceled because of the strikes. Yeah. Well, it got put on hold, which kind of means it could come back, but it's been a year, so. Yeah. And I was- But you were already cast. Yeah, I was already cast. Oh my God. I had the contract and everything. Like my agents had like, what's it called? They had negotiated the contract. It was all done. Oh my God. I know. Don't in this world of constant rejection, to get this and then to get it and just can't. To, oh. And it was torture as well because um, I got it in like March and they were meant to film in June and then it got postponed to July and then September and then November and then cancelled. And it was just, you know, it's like dangling the carrot in front of your face and then just like, but I mean, obviously it 
You learn a lot from that. That's that's torture. Like it's why like, coming back to why would you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And then you think because you and you just think like what's the point? Because you go your whole life dreaming about getting a role like this and then mm -hmm. you get the role mm -hmm. and it still doesn't happen but this happens all the time that's the sad thing like this happens like i know oh my god um my other flatmate his friend is a an actor and he's a teacher at met film school and he was uh cast in like a really big role in like i don't want to say that it because i'm not sure it was 100 percent right but it was a big studio um and he was like the main villain. He was at the premiere. Mm. They had filmed it at the premiere on the red carpet. The director comes up to him and goes, I'm so sorry, but we cut you out. I've been there. You've been there? I mean, I, I never had like a big role, but I had like a small role with a very like well-known actress uh. in, the, in, the, uh, in the series. It's a small scene. It's a good actress. Mm -hmm. It will look so good yeah. in my portfolio. It will look yeah. so good in my showreel. I'm watching the first episode and I see like, oh, well, that's where my scene was supposed to be. No! That's not right. I, know, no! I, was waiting for, I was waiting for a year. <laughs> it's so unfair. I know, I know. And it happens all the time. I've heard, I know. I've heard like, it shocked me. I'm not sure like if it's true or not, but one of my most favorite films, is love actually mm -hmm. you know this film yeah, yeah, yeah it's like one of like for me it's the best christmas film and apparently there was a whole other like i think one or two storylines in the film that yeah. got completely cut out really with like other with other actors yeah i mean like maybe from some of the actors that we've seen as background actors maybe they also have some kind of like you know storyline yeah. or yeah. or like it was just completely two other like other actors who had uh, their own arcs but it was completely cut off yeah but that's the thing you have to like you have to find ways to 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 deal with that mm -hmm. and i think in a way it's probably good for me that this happened to me now because mm -hmm. Again, knowing like I luckily I didn't make the mistake of telling people yet. That's one thing I'm like, thank God I was clever enough not to go around and like I didn't even tell my mom. I told her, oh, like I told her I got a really exciting opportunity, but I don't want to tell you about it yet because it's not like set in stone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like if I had been like you know telling people and then I have to tell everyone, yeah, I got cancelled. Ouch! Mm -hmm. You have to I be mean. so careful. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't careful, I told everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and yeah, it was kind of, you know, I was like, well, what are you gonna do? I get paid, yeah. which is nice, but. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's so annoying.